What's up, Centennial? This is your favorite host, Cami G, and welcome to episode 27 of The Loft. Almost done. We're almost there. Hey, girls. I'm going to bed. Good night. Love y'all. Please try to keep it down. Good night. What are you doing? So, I had this idea. I brought sparklers, and I was thinking we should go test it out. Test them out? In my room? No, outside. Like, sneaking out? What do you think? Uh... Is that into the work real? It'll have to do. Oh, look. Too much. Wait, 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 wait. It's like 320. We gotta go. Can't you stay a little bit longer? I mean, look at the time. I should really head back. Please. I don't know. It's too late. Okay, you're on your own then. Oh my days. Morgan. Morgan Burks. Have you heard about this? An unidentified girl was killed after being hit by a car. Authorities are I hope you weren't doing anything like I've, this last I've night. I've been here the whole time. Hi guys, I'm Miss Keen, and your word of the week is flim flam, which means nonsensical and insincere talk. Your bro, did you suck for the AP exam? Oh, a little bit. What about you? You know, if you fail this exam, you just took this class for a whole year for nothing. I'll, I'll be fine. Do you not care or something? I mean, it's fine. I'm gonna fail anyway. No, you're not. That's some flim flam. Your AP exams are coming up soon. Make sure you study now. Don't wait till the last day. I'm Kay. And I'm Kay. And welcome to your weekly update. In Ghana, a man hugged 1,123 trees in an hour. That is not possible unless he was crashing into them one by one. You don't know that. He could have just used superpowers. Superpowers don't exist unless you're Mr. Beekner disappearing into the abyss all of the time. Yeah, where'd she even go? 
I don't even know. I mean, one second he's over here, and then the next second he's lurking in the hallways. Anyways, Wendy's is now officially working with Google to test AI-powered drive throughs What is AI? No way you don't know what AI is, Mr. 107 in his full class. Just kidding, guys. I don't even like Wendy's, so I don't really care. A teenager threw a tantrum inside of a nail salon, all because she didn't like her nails. And her excuse? I, I have, have prom. prom. I'm, I'm in, in high, high school. school. The nails were $65, so. Yeah, that's cheap for a nail salon, but I don't know, guys. She was getting a good deal. Oh, well, the world was ending for her that day. And that's it for your weekly update this week. Thank you and good morning. Percy Hedris is an indie band. It was originally a recording project by hit musician Will Toledo. Twin Fantasy is their most critically acclaimed as well as most popular album. It actually was released twice, the original in 2011, and then a remake, remaster, sort of revision in 2018. I'm going to be talking about both of those. So the original one, also known as Mirror to Mirror, was one of the greatest um, indie lo-fi albums of all time. It got very popular on Bandcamp, and it's actually the reason that the band was able to get their first record deal with a label. My favorite off of the Mirror to Mirror version, the 2011 one, would be Sober to Death, and my least favorite would probably be My Boy. And overall, the original is a 9 out of 10. As for the 2018 remake, it's not as good. I feel like when they improved audio quality and recording, they lost a certain part of the soul of the original, and also a lot of the lyrics have been changed in a way that I don't really think was that good. For the face-to-face -face version, the 2018 re-release, I'd say the best song is Bodies, and the worst is probably still My Boy, and the 2018 re-release is a 7 out of 10. Congratulations to boys tennis, girls tennis, and lacrosse boys for making Final Fours this week. Come out and watch the Knights go make it to the finals. Still playing this stupid game? Yeah, I think he's addicted. This is so stupid. He's just wasting his life away petting a virtual dog. Yeah, I don't know why he doesn't just play with his real dog. Hey, boys, go. Hey, boys, go. Hey, boys, go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't feel bad for his real dog. We should take it for a walk. Alright, sure. This is crazy. Virtual reality is really taking over the world. Yeah, I know. He looks a little tired. I think he's getting to the end of his days. Yeah, I'm surprised he can even move this well. I think it's about time to head back inside. Talking 
I've been here the whole time. I think AP exams are overrated because they're really stressful to study for and they're just like not fun to take. I don't like them. Final exams are perfectly rated, I'd say. As long as you know what you're studying for, like you know what the material is, I think you'll be okay. Final exams definitely underrated. Like I love school and like I love working and I love to study. So it's just a great opportunity to show off like everything I've learned and it's just it's just so much fun studying too. Uh, summer school is overrated. Um, why would you want to spend your summer at school when you can spend it at the beach with your friends or at the pool? I'll say summer school overrated because like, why are you going to summer school? Y'all could literally catch up with your work no matter what. Literally, y'all just lazy to do your work. Summer school, oh my gosh, underrated. Why go to the beach? Why, why hang out with your friends when you can stay at school? And like, cause I just love school. School is just so much fun. And just like another opportunity to be there for longer. Like, heck yeah. Summer break, I think is super underrated because I get to sleep all month and, or all two months and it's just great and it's relaxing. You don't have to worry about anything. Summer break is definitely overrated. Like, I just want to be at school. Like, I just want to see my teachers. I just want to do schoolwork. Like, I'm trying to be a doctor when I grow up, so I, I just have to be at school. So, summer break, overrated. Saying goodbye to the seniors is so underrated. I'm, like, so sad because last year I had some senior friends that left and I cried for the whole day. And then, like, this year I have a lot of closer senior friends, so I don't know how I'm going to handle that, but I don't really want to think about it. <laughs> I'll say underrated because I'm gonna miss half of my senior friends and like they were the ones that supported me throughout my high school and I'm gonna start crying but I'm just gonna miss them. <laughs> Saying goodbye to the seniors, um, definitely underrated. I'm gonna miss them a lot. I've made a lot of new friends and a lot of connections for when I want to become a doctor. So future patients. Four half days at the end of school are pretty overrated because I just want to like leave as soon as possible and like chill out at, ho at home, so I would not want to go to those. The four half days are also perfectly rated, especially if you know you need them, please go. Like that's definitely your recovery time. The last four and a half days of school definitely underrated, although I wish there were full days because I just love school so much. My name is Jaden, and I get buckets. What's your name, and what do you do? Hi, my name is Fred Vancey, and I'm Jaden's basketball coach. How long have you been training with Coach Fred? Uh, I've been training with Coach Fred since I was five years old. How long have you been working with Jaden? Uh, I've been working with Jaden for about 10 years now, ever since he was five years old. Um, we've been through the struggles, the ups and downs, and um, just trying to get him to be one of the best basketball players of all time. All right, let's see a jumper. No, no, what are we doing? Get back. Get that arm back there. Now go. How have you liked training with Coach Fred? It's been horrible. All his drills are off of YouTube, everything. He's a horrible coach. He hasn't, he's five foot, so it's pretty bad, you know what I'm saying? How have you liked working with Jaden? Uh, Jaden's been really fun to work with. Um, I mean, everything that I put him through, he, he gets through it really easily. Um, I don't think I could do it, but uh, I know Jaden can. How did today's training go? Uh, like every training does. I walked in the gym and I seen him getting his videos off YouTube to train me, and he uses a plushie to train me, like a plushie doll. What's up, coach? What's up, Jaden? You watching YouTube videos again? No. And what's the plushie for, bro? Oh, get ready. You'll see. Let's go. How did today's session go? Uh, today's session went really well with Jaden. I mean, um, I put him through the big man challenge. Uh, I put a lot of my uh, clients through that, and they don't, they kind of struggle with it at first, but Jaden didn't struggle at all. I mean, he, he bodied through it and did it really easily. That's all you got? Come on, 
More effort next time. Let's go. What is something that you like about Coach Red? Really nothing. You know what I'm saying? Our, his wife's kind of cute, so that's pretty all right. What is something that you like about Jaden? Uh, something that I like about Jaden is he's always putting in the work on and off the court. I mean, um, he's putting in the work every single day, either at my house or at the gym. I mean, it's, it's crazy how much work he puts in, and I can't wait to see where he grows up. I would just like to thank him and his family. Like I'm saying, every single time I come over, I feel welcome. I'm saying I feel at home. You know I'm saying I feel warm. Is there anything that you'd like to add or say to Jaden? Yeah, um, I mean, Jaden's a little weird around my family. I mean, it's a little awkward sometimes. I mean, um, but as long as he puts that work in, uh, I don't care. I want, him, I want him to be the, the best he can. And that's it for this week's Centennial. I want to congratulate everybody who's signing to commit to play their sport in college. I hope you guys enjoyed our episode, and we'll see you next week for our senior edition episode. Go Knights!